A Depression-era love story first told in 1939, Ask the Dust, stars Salma Hayek as a Mexican waitress looking for the American dream who ends up finding an Italian writer played by Colin Farrell. But she's not the only one with eyes for him. Fans of Broadway will surely remember Adina Menzel from her Tony Award-winning performance in Wicked. Salma, Adina, good morning to both of you. Thanks for being here. Hello. Good morning. I'm thinking you should do the interview because you interviewed Adina uh, for a magazine back in December. That's right. Did you find anything interesting that we should talk about? <laughs> oh, That's my what God, many things. <laughs> but if I, was doing the, if I was doing the interview, I um, it would be very expensive for you. Very expensive. <laughs> because <laughs> I would say, why don't you sing some tunes from this era? She's going to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> was she a good interviewer? Then pay for the rights, <laughs> you know. Then it, it becomes so a whole legal hassle. Was she a good interviewer? She was great. Are you kidding? <laughs> well, I want to talk about, let's let's start talking about this movie. And Salma, let me begin with you. Because this is a, I kept watching this film thinking, this is a very, very difficult part because the range of emotions going on. Set it up for me. You, you're a Mexican waitress who's just looking to find an American husband for a better life. It's a very simple dream. A green card and a little bit of love. That's not much to ask. And right? then comes along this Italian-American writer with the name Arturo. Bandini. Which isn't working for not you. not really helping, yeah. And, yeah. and is it love at first sight? Because it's very, as you watch this movie, you think, do they hate each other or do they crush mm -hmm. on each other? It's a recognition of love at first sight that you know it's going to be bad news. So in their struggle to fight against this in, in instantaneous passion, uh, they, they become into each other to try to stay away from each other. You know what I want to do? This is a good point to play a clip here to kind of set the scene and set the tone for this very odd relationship. Here it is, and then we'll continue. You think you're so smart. You're going to write a book and have the world on a string. Huh? Well, what if you don't? I will. Yeah, but what if you don't? I will. You look smart, but you're not smart. And you're not rich. And you're not nice. You're loud, angry, and poor. It's a touching scene. <laughs> So we, we, we've, all, we, we've all known couples who have this relationship, and they seem to fight all the time, but they love each other madly. This goes, a, this goes a much step farther. You guys are cruel to each other. How did you develop that kind of chemistry to what you're told initially is a love story? I love it that you, you talk about, we've heard about relationships that are, like, well, you haven't people. had one. Well, like, I mean, you've <laughs> known people you, We've like known that. people, like... <laughs> You've never experienced She's turning into the interviewer like again. You see what's happening here? She's trying to turn this on me. Adina, let me talk about your character yeah, because let's yeah, let's, yeah, let, let's get away from me and Salma for a moment. And let, and let's talk about your character because this is an equally, I watched this performance, equally hard character to play because mm -hmm. your character, correct me if I'm wrong, is kind of kind of manic, um, kind of pitiful also, isn't she? She's, she's wounded. She's wounded. Physically, Physically and Physically and psychologically, yeah. But she's just... She's um, infatuated with Colin's character, and she chases him around and, you know, finally wears him down, and they actually end up having this really well, wonderful relationship, and she kind of teaches him how to be more compassionate, a man. Um, yeah, yeah, you're like the other woman him. that kind of sets him up to, to, to accept yeah, exactly. Salma's character in, in many ways. Were you intimidated by working with Colin Farrell at all? Yes. Were you, were you? <laughs> Extremely, how yeah. So? Um, I was just starstruck by him. I just, I've always thought he was cute. It's like, you know, this is my first big movie. If you ask me to tell you what my three favorite guys in the movies were, he'd be there. And so the would you walk in the set and take him to have your autograph? <laughs> no, I would never do that. I was trying to play cool. <laughs> now, this film was shot in 2004. You were still doing, um, Wicked. Uh, Wicked on Broadway. I think it was like nine months in and I hadn't missed many shows and I had vacation coming to me. So. So you didn't call in sick. You actually, you begged for the time off. Are you kidding? Yeah, I took the green off. Cut my hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, I invited a lot. And thanks so much for coming on and Thank talking. It's good to have you here. We do appreciate it. And we'll take a break. We'll be back after these messages.